Hi, welcome to week two lab for biology 1110. This is Mrs. Weir, and this short video is to introduce you to the lab and show you how to complete the virtual lab activity. So your assignment this week, just like you see on the screen, is you're gonna complete the virtual lab. That's worth 100 points. And the other part of this week's activity is to complete the lab quiz. That's also worth 100 points. On the next slide, I'm gonna point out to you uh, the two introductory pieces of information that you should really pay attention to, the key concepts and the before you begin area. So this is a screenshot of the very first page, the introduction of your virtual lab. Here's the key concepts. It's the first little area of the screen all the way to the left. And the reason this information is important is because they define for you some terms that we use when we talk about the scientific method. In fact, think of this lab exercise as an example of how you would actually use these terms uh, while you're doing an experiment. So what is the hypothesis of this experiment? Um, what is the analysis of this experiment? When you're doing the experiment, um, why is it a controlled experiment? Who's the independent or the experimental group? Who's the, the dependent group? or the dependent variables, where would you find those in the experiment? The other part that is important to pay attention to is the before you begin area. Um, they are describing for you some general things to know about pill bugs and their behavior. They also kind of give you an idea of what the area or the chamber where you're going to keep your bugs uh, for the experiment. So you have an area that's basically like two circles with a little area here that's connected in between so the bugs can stay over here or they can cross through this little bridge, this connecting tunnel, and enter on the other side. When you first go into the lab past the introduction, there's going to be uh, four questions, and that's phase one. Now, when you look over here on the instructions, they have, you know, answer four questions, but you might only see three questions on the screen. And so make sure that you scroll down using the bar right here. Scroll down so that you see that fourth question. Because if you don't answer all four questions, you won't be able to actually go on to the second phase of the experiment. The second phase of the activity is the actual experiment. And this is a screenshot of what you'll see once you get to uh, the second phase. You notice that you have that chamber again. it has got an area over here, an area, and then a connector. They call this a choice chamber because the pill bugs can choose which side they want to be on. So this is the upper choice chamber. And then this one down here is the lower or the bottom choice chamber. So when you're reading directions and they talk about the upper choice chamber, they mean this guy up here. And when they're talking about um, the bottom choice chamber, like in step number five, they mean this one down here. When it's time for you to actually do the experiment, the first step is you've got to add a little bit of cornstarch to the upper left side choice chamber. And then the second set of instructions say to add a little bit of sand to the right side, and then a little bit of sand to both the left and the right side of the bottom choice chamber. Then you'll add your bugs. Oh, they're going to have a question for you. Uh, I'm just going to choose an answer here. Oh, incorrect. Let me try again. Okay. All right, correct. And so when it's time to actually add your bugs, um, then you'll just open your little jar. Isn't that cute? It looks like a little roly-poly, doesn't it? Drop them right in there, and there you go. you got your five bugs. And here you've got your other five bugs. Five bugs. And when you add the last set of five bugs, then the timer's going to pop up. And you'll stop time. And when you stop time, um, and I think it tells you how often to stop time. I think it's every minute or so, or is it every two minutes? But you can stop time by toggling this little thing right here. And when you stop time, that's when you count how many bugs are in the left chamber, how many bugs are in the right chamber. And you'll record your data right here in the lab data sheet. By the way, if a bug is caught between the little connecting that passage area, then it's up to you to decide which actual chamber is it closest to. 
and you count it as being on that side. So after so many minutes, you'll record your data in each of the columns. Okay. So, of course, the instructions will tell me how often to start and stop um, your timer so that you can count your bugs. And if you notice, the bugs are going to move around oh, every two minutes. So I would count how many bugs are over here, how many bugs are over there, and then start the timer over again. So again, the key places that you're going to pay attention to is this little button to start and stop your timer, and then this is the lab data link where you're going to record your information. Once you complete the experiment, then you can go on to phase three, and phase three is going to ask you to analyze your data and make some decisions about what your data means. This is a cute little experiment. Those of you that don't like to handle roly polies or pill bugs, um, this is like the least scary way to handle bugs. But for those of you that like to play with roly polies, um, I wish we could do this in person, but you're going to be playing with virtual roly polies on this experiment. And just as a reminder, when you're done with this experiment, you have um, a week to go back and complete lab quiz number for week two number lab quiz, which that lives in Blackboard in the week two folder. Thanks for watching.